this message is for you. Today I'm really going to say something very serious. I'm Pramakur, I'm an international motivator and a business coach and today I'm here to discuss a very serious topic that why the color of skin is going to decide our fate. Do you know why still our color of skin decides our success, our destiny? Why still people consider that the color of our skin is going to decide that whether you are going to live a prosperous or a miserable life? Why still in 21st century we are still being discriminated for our color? Because we have got few darker shades or darker color because of that we will be decided that what will be the status in our society? Why exactly this discrimination? So today we are going to get deeper into this topic and I'm sure you basically are going to listen to this topic. My friends, I'm not here today basically to get likes and share about my video. Today I'm really going to discuss a very serious topic to you and today I'm going to really understand and make you people aware that it is not the color of skin. It is basically the person who you are or which you should be known. Billions of dollars across the world are spent today just for the fact to look fairer. Today, a lot of companies are still telling those campaigns where people are being claiming that you would be looking fairer or you'd be looking lighter than your original skin tone. Why exactly we want to leave this fake identity? Why not we really accept the life? Is the color is still so deeper in our skin? Still in most of the Asian countries, it is believed that a fairer looking skin is much beautiful and more happier. And that is why people really consider that black is a taboo. Gone are the days when people used to consider that there is a discrimination in black and white. But still today we find that we are still witnessing the tragedy of 25th May, the black scar of 21st century when George Floyd a dark American has to give his life just for the brutality and some malicious intention of some policemen in the streets of Minneapolis. So if you still are sleeping, if you still are, are not awake, then you should not consider that you are basically a man. You should understand that it is time to rise up to this misery. You have to understand that it is not something which the world tells us, it is us who are responsible for this. Don't take me wrong, I'm not really going to be an activist who is going to speak anti-white, but today I'm going to delve deeper into this topic that why still we believe that black is basically a devil? Why still believe that black is inferior? Why we still believe that people with darker shades of skin are going to be evil or they're inferior? So let us first understand that why exactly our skin tones are different. If you look around, you will find that a lot of your brothers and sisters, your friends are not of the same skin tone. It is because of the simple biology, my friends. There is a skin pigmentation, which is called as melanin, which is present in our skin, which makes us look darker. And in fact, if you see properly, no skin is absolutely pitch black. And that is why when we turn to say something is black, we say blue black and not just black. So if you see either we are yellow, we are browner or darker shades of brown. So no one is like white. So if you can compare your skin color with black, you are not the blue black or you are not the deep black. So you basically would be a deeper or a darker shade of brown. So now exactly understand that why exactly this skin pigmentation makes a difference. It has been seen that the people who are living in the tropical countries, the people who are more into the exposure of sun, they tend to adapt their color with their nature of exposure. So if you are basically having the skin content of melanin higher, you will look darker because it is just the way to adapt your skin because this particular pigment protects our body from the harmful ultraviolet rays. So it has been seen that the people who are basically in those areas where they are less exposed to the sunlight, they have less darker skin. So that is why we always find that the people who are living towards equator or equatorial region, they are always darker and there is nothing wrong in it. But still in this educated society, still in this tech modern world, we still believe that we are still leaving the fear of racism. So why exactly we are still having this racist thought? Is it so deeper in our blood? 
why still such people with such narrow and malicious mentality are still harming the mankind because we have injected this culture somewhere deeper in our society yes we ourselves that is why we are saying that multi billion dollars of industry are really selling their products just claiming that we will make you live a fairer life and all this advertisement which is full in youtube which is full in all television channel which claims that if you are fairer you will be more successful the evil or the failure is always considered to be related with black and the moment a girl starts looking better she will get a better match she will get more confident she will get successful and the same is also with a boy so whether you are a boy or a girl you always would like to look fairer but is it just the skin color which makes you confident this is really an illegal practice which is going across the world and people still are closing eye to this and this is just because they are playing with our soft sentiment my friends it is time for us to rise up it is not only the question of the africans or the indians or any other asian it is time that we should realize that we should accept our own identity it is not the color of the skin which should choose our success it is not the color of our skin tone which should mean that whether we will be getting the equality in society or not because we have created this kind of wrong thoughts around ourselves it is a high time for us to come out of this paradigms and look for a world which is fair and equal for all and then we can really break those thoughts that a parent of a black girl should not worry for a child's marriage a parent of a dark girl should not think it's a curse he should really understand that it is not the skin color it is the quality within ourselves which makes us feel better it is not basically to really go for fair skin if you really choose to go for a fair skin then that is perfectly fine but for that one should not try to equate with success or failure so skin color never decides that what you will be so if you really want to make sure that you are really going to ingrain the positivity start teaching your children today that if somebody is black it is not a crime if somebody is white it is not a kind of a special privilege you've got it is just the way we are if you have seen there is a day there also has to be a night if you see there is basically water there also has to be ice in the same way god has given you choices god has given us options there are flower in a fine morning in a garden same way god has created us with different hues and color but we should respect the creation of god instead of just humiliating and just bringing the malicious intention of racism so my friend you have to understand that this is high time in this 21st century when we are really fighting this pandemic of corona the racism is one of the biggest pandemic than this corona which is deeper in your heart which is deeper in ourselves if we really uproot this racism if we really uproot the difference of black and white then only we can really claim ourselves to be educated and a real free man so if you're really trying to pass on this message of equality make sure that first of all you start believing in this thought that it is not the color of skin which decides our success it is our inner thoughts which make us black or white i hope you have really understood this message and if you really appreciate i would request you to pass on this message to millions of people around the world who will really understand that it is time for us to rise up that it is not the color of skin which should decide our fate thank you friend stay positive stay blessed